Good evening, Lisa. Good evening, Andrew. What are you laughing at? I don't know. I didn't press the button, did no. I? Are you being served? Yes. We're almost at the climax. We are. We're nearly at the end. Friends yes. and neighbours. Yes. It's getting slightly desperate yes. now for storylines. Because we sort of had this living in the shop kind of storyline before, haven't we? see. Um, there's an unnamed assistant who's sort of drifting about. Mm-hmm. In really high heel shoes. Yeah. Yeah. And we get to see some of the dummies. Mm-hmm. Sort of all tons, don't we? Yeah. We'll uh, reach later. Mr. Harmon appears mm-hmm. and gets out his dustpan and brush and yes. starts brushing the, the carpet on the stairs mm-hmm. down from the lifts. Yes. And some shoes appear mm-hmm. and the shoes are filled by Mr. Rumbold. They are. He asks why he hasn't got the vacuum cleaner. Mm-hmm. And he says it's, it's quieter using the dustpan and brush. Yeah, because he doesn't want to paint, wake up young Mr. Spooner before his alarm goes Yeah, off. young Mr. Spooner is asleep behind the counter. Actually, he's on the counter. Yeah. And his alarm goes and he mm-hmm. sort of yeah, awakens, doesn't yes. he? He does what you do when an alarm goes off. Which is? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Isn't it? I don't know, I'm asleep <laughs> when it happens. But he's got um, alarm clocks strapped to his ears so with a sort of band yeah. round yeah. it. Yeah. And do you know what it made me think of? Uh, the Monster Mash. Oh, right, The Bonzo yeah. Dog Doo Dah uh-huh. Band. Um, on Do Not Adjust Your Set. Yeah. Because they, they've got a Frankenstein's monster with a, a sort of brainiac device, mm-hmm. they call it, haven't they? A sort of band. It's either that or it's, it's a bit like the, um, the Robo Men. Oh, yes. In Dalek Invasion of Earth. Yes. All the early Cybermen. Yeah. He's got sort of pink pyjamas on he as has, well, hasn't he? With yes. sort of patterns. Could you see what the pattern no, is? No, couldn't really see. I if it was like teddy bears or something. I don't Possibly, know. yeah. It, to be honest, it looks like the sort of thing uh, Mr. Humphreys would yes. have worn. Yeah. But, but hey. Um, but yeah, this, this is all to do with um, uh, public transport being really mm-hmm. expensive and no travel allowance being given no. by young Mr Grace no. so by, by Mr going. Grace sorry by Mr Grace yes and there's no, still no we don't know whether it's young or old it's, it's going to be old he's mean yeah so enter a tandem mm-hmm. with Mrs Slocum and Miss Brahms mm-hmm. later on we see that Mrs Slocum is orange hair isn't it but we don't really, yeah, see, it really see it at this point she's no. got a sort of mm-hmm. cycle is it a cycle helmet yeah. or something on? yeah, yeah. Which would have been really early days, I would have thought, of mm. people working, yeah, well. wearing cycle helmets. Uh, but um, Mrs. Slocum is concerned. She, um, well, she was Miss Brahms peddling all the way because yes. she felt a bit of weight behind her, didn't mm-hmm. she? Um, so, um, was it Miss Miss Brahms wants to go in front next time, doesn't mm-hmm. she? But Mrs. Slocum says it's my bike. Yes. And um, Mr. Rumbold thinks it all looks a bit unsafe and wonders if they're insured. Mm-hmm. But they say it's the cheapest form of transport. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mrs. Slocum wants uh, Mr. Harmon to look at her seat. She it's a bit it's low. low. Yes. And he says he'll have a look at it and he'll raise her saddle at the same time. Ha 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 ha. She she threatens him with it with her pump up his proboscis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> because he'll get the wind up. And then, oh Lord, enter Mr. Humphreys. Mm. It's sort of half like he's like been playing American football, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it? I thought when I first saw it. Because yeah. he's got big shoulders, doesn't he? Yes. And a, and a, and a helmet. Yeah, but a skateboard. And, but he's, he's arrived on a skateboard. <laughs> At least he didn't do a thing with him skating in or something no, like that. Because no. I don't think John Eamon would have wanted to do they that. They might have suggested it and John Eamon said no. Yeah. No, I can't do that. Um, but yeah, he's um, he hangs on the on the back of buses, mm-hmm. and he's got speeding tickets. Well, that's got to be that's ridiculous because buses never go fast <laughs> enough to get a speeding ticket. Yeah, never. Yeah. Unless there's a speed limit for having a skateboard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but he, he was he stopped on a double yellow line to tighten his nuts, mm-hmm. and then the policeman. He was clamped, and he had a sticker Nearly put on his helmet. He, and he had a sticker put on his helmet. Yes. But they're all fed up with this. Mm-hmm. So Mr. Humphreys um, wants to talk to Mr. Grace. Mr. Grace about mm-hmm. the travel allowance. Um, so ding go the lifts mm-hmm. simultaneously, which is 
Yeah. Given the state of the lifts, I'm amazed that they mm. actually managed to do it at the same time. But um, enter uh, from one lift, Captain Peacock, and mm. from t'other lift, Miss Belfridge. Yes. Um, who's got a sort of yellow ensemble on, on, yes. isn't she? Um, mm -hmm. Now, Captain Peacock says his wife's away. Mm hmm. And he's been staying at an army friend's flat or something. Yes, which is just round the corner. Yeah. Mm. And then they, um, Mr. Rumble notices that Captain Peacock has got a yellow umbrella. Mm hmm. Which appears to be not his. Yes. It's a bit um, feminine for him. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Miss Belfridge has got um, Captain Peacock's umbrella. Umbrella. Mm hmm. Which might lead you to a conclusion, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Um, but apparently, this this flat is tiny, mm -hmm. says Captain Peacock. Uh, but this Belfridge insists it's got a lovely view. Mm -hmm. so how does, how of does, what? We don't know. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, Mr. Rumbold wants to ask about is there anything going on? And Captain mm -hmm. Peacock says there is definitely nothing you should know about. Mm -hmm. um, so Mr. Rumble's going to go off to see Mr. Grace. Because mm. I didn't think Mr. Humphreys had said about speaking to him until after Mr. Hum Mr. Rumble. No, well, there is a line about talking to Mr. Grace. Oh, I don't okay. know whether it was Mr. Humphreys or not. But, okay. um, but yeah, so uh, Mr. Rumble goes off to see Mr. Grace and Captain Peacock says he'll deny everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, the... Um, what is it? Miss, Mrs. Slocum says she'll have to get a position near a home if they don't mm -hmm. get the travel allowance. Um, Mr. Humphrey's mum has been babysitting mm -hmm. for extra money and, and taking them to the bingo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did that? Uh, I don't think babies will be much good at crossing off numbers, but um, no, probably not. So it's no good writing to Mr. Grace because mm -hmm. he'd just fi file it under T for troublemaker. Yeah. So yeah, Mr. Humphreys says he'll phone Mr. Grace and say how desperate they are. Mm -hmm. um, but. Um, Mr. Grace just thinks he's making trouble mm -hmm. and eventually ha hangs up but not before he's given him the sack yes. he said he should take his case to Debenhams basically mm. uh, Mr. Humphreys is shocked as he's never been asked to give up a position before <laughs> well nearly never nearly never Hang on. Uh, my, page, my pages are stuck oh, here Lucy mentioned earlier on of going to the industrial relations people yeah, yeah. So in the canteen, they can't decide whether it's tea or coffee that they're drinking, mm -hmm. but apparently tea is frothy. <coughs> the manageress comes in to say how sorry she'll be to see, to see Mr. Humphreys go, yeah. and she's brought him a fairy cake as a treat. It's mm. nice. Wouldn't mind a fairy cake, actually. Um, and she gets him to sign, sign a menu as a mm. memento, but he's got an outstanding bill to be paid. Yes. Um, Mr. Rumble then comes in and says Mr. Grace has reconsidered the position, so mm -hmm. this plot line just stops at this point. It does, yeah. You thought you could have got an episode out of this, frankly, yeah. but yeah. you sometimes wonder whether it's two half episodes that have just been jammed together. Yes. Don't you? But, yeah. um, but Mr. Grace has made an offer. He's got some private apartments on the top floor, mm -hmm. apparently, which will let out at a minimal rent for a few nights a week. But then you have the problem of whom is going to share with whom. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Harmon's up there giving him a spring, uh, going to go up there to give him a spring clean. Mm -hmm. So everybody wants to go and, and look at it. Yes. And um, Miss Belfridge happens to pass and mm -hmm. um, invites herself along with yes. Captain Peacock, yes. basically. So up in the apartment. Uh, Mr. Harmon's banging the cushions, mm. which are extremely dusty. Aren't they? they are very dusty, yes. And I just put Harmon banging away. <laughs> um, this is apparently Mr. Grace's personal room, mm. um, although it's described as looking like Lenin's tomb. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's got a balcony to the fire escape, which apparently yes. the other ones don't have. Um, there's also a kitchen and a loo attached as well. Mm hmm. Um, it is the living room is also the bedroom though. Is is there's the 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 
Uh, so Mr. Spooner tries it out. Tries out the bed and like mm. he, he he does a proper starfish, doesn't mm. he? You say like Rose Cat when she's on the yeah, she does bed, like a starfish. She, she, she like takes up as much space as possible. She does, and you end up in like in a corner. Don't in a you? corner, sometimes with one leg one side or on one leg the other, because so, that's the only way to get. But he it. notices there's a pull cord. Yes. And he, he wonders whether Mr. Mm-hmm. Grace pulls it to get attention. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so he pulls, pulls the cord it. and yeah. up goes the bed, of course, yes. taking Mr. Spooner with it. Mm-hmm. Um, the bed comes back with no Mr. Spooner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really don't see that this is actually sensible, mm-hmm. but apparently it's to, it was to give Mr. Grace immediate access to the WC. There's a flush noise yeah. in the night. And Mr Spooner comes in all dishevelled, doesn't he? Like, yeah. sort of, all his yeah. clothes are in disarray. Yes. So I can't imagine Mr Grace surviving that. No. <laughs> you know, he'd just be on the floor, wouldn't mm. he? Yeah. Um, but they say it all smells of mothballs. Um, good sink. Don't know what that is. I don't know. What's uh, the bit before it? Mothballs. What's the bit after it? Will my pussy feel at home in a strange bed? Okay, let me see if I can... Good. There. <laughs> if you know what that says, please write in at home. I'll work it out later. It's all right, don't worry about it. It's probably it. clean, isn't it? Because my Mrs. Slocum says it needs a good clean. All right. It's not the word clean. I don't know what the word is. Like a good airing or something yeah. like that. I don't well, it's know. not airing either. Yeah. Um, so then they sort of go over will Captain Peacock and Mr Rumbold share Um, and then uh, Mr Harmon points out that this is the larger of the rooms and the only one uh, with the the balcony Mm -hmm. so yeah there's there's a proper argument over who's going to get what who's going to get what Um, but apparently they are over the the air vent um, for the the local Indian restaurant, and you mm-hmm. you get a wa- waft of curry and chips, mm. which I hope isn't a reference to the uh, the comedy series, the, but you never the, know. The god awful comedy yeah. series. So Mr. Harmon's going to go off and get some hairy soles mm. and uh, and some paint and some paint. Paint. Yeah, they're going to get some paint and some aerosols or hairy soles. <laughs> No, some hair wick. Yeah. Some hair wick. Hair wick, yeah. yeah. Which is a hairy soul. <laughs> Have you got a hairy soul? I, I don't wish to answer that question. Um, but on the shop floor, mm-hmm. um, Mrs Slocum wants to know whether the the, the coast is clear. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, it is. And she's got a saucer of milk for a pussy. Mm-hmm. Which is under a hat. Which is under a hat. Yeah. It's not a very large cat. No, though, it's not. It? No, it's a little tiny cat. Yeah. Martha, what's Martha doing? Scraping. She's having a scrape. Okay. So the the the, um, the saucer of milk is secreted under the hat. There's a load mm. of slurping. Yeah. And does the hat sort of wobble up and a down a little bit? bit? I think, yeah. And then there's a burp, yes. isn't there? A sort of comedy, comedy burp. Yeah, like that comedy noise. Okay. Then uh, enter. Carol Cleveland, mm-hmm. which is most appropriate yes. given what arrived last week. Yes. yes. Uh, and her little boy Cedric, mm-hmm. who's it's his birthday and he's got a water pistol, mm-hmm. which he pss, 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 at Captain yeah. Peacock, and then he goes pss, 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 at um, Mrs. Slocum. Mrs. Slocum. And <laughs> there's this business with his clockwork mouse, mm. isn't there? Um, as he puts his clockwork mouse on the tabletop, it's not a table counter. counter that's the word. Yeah, near to where Mrs. Slepin's pussy is. Yeah, Tiddles. under the hat, and the mouse is followed by the hat, isn't it? Yes. And then the hat sort of goes on the mouse. Yeah. And there's a lot of crunching noises. And more burping. And more burping. And then the mouse is ejected. The hat sort of turns round, yeah. doesn't it? And the mouse is ejected. Uh, and all all that's left are its workings because it's, mm-hmm. all its clothes have been eaten. Yes. Well, it's fur, whatever. So enter Mr. Harmon, who's got a big basket with a load of wallpaper and mm-hmm. curtains and swatches and things in. Mm-hmm. And apparently Seymour and Percival were 
upstairs doing the titty vating. Yes. And then Mr. Humphreys is discussing with Mr. Spooner mm -hmm. what he's going to have. Yeah. For sort of curtains and things, and they have a big argument over the decor, don't they? Yes. Um, apparently, it, Mr. Humphreys is is picking the floral one, which is mm -hmm. sunflowers, not dandelions. Mm -hmm. um, then they have an argument about wearing slippers and stuff, or mm -hmm. being barefoot, or what have you. And eventually they sort of fall out, don't they? And yeah. Mr Spooner sort of storms off. And uh, uh, apparently Mr Humphreys has got a very short fuse as well, mm. or so the rumour is. Deary me. Uh, back upstairs, mm -hmm. uh, Mrs Slocum and Miss Brahms are wearing gas masks. Yes. And you can't understand... Now, see, I'm not convinced anybody says anything in this scene. Because to be honest, it sounds like Miss Wendy Whitaker goes, ma 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 ma. <laughs> well, like the teacher yeah. off of uh, Charlie Brown. So I don't know if she actually says anything or if she's just making noises. <laughs> uh, apparently, there's a faint aroma of curry and mothballs, but mm -hmm. enough that they can uh, live with it. <coughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they, they've sort of done their curtains mm -hmm. as well, haven't they, with spots? Um, so yeah, uh, Mrs. Slocum says, uh, "Would you like a cup of tea to Miss Brahms?" Mm -hmm. And when she says yes, well, make one for me as well then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't, no, nobody seems to be sort of very considerate of the other other no. people in all of this, no. do they? No, again, it's another one of those situations where everybody's very selfish. They're sort of niggly at each other, yes. aren't they? Yes. Um, so yeah, she only wants two sugars, and she's got a pan of wants a pan of water on for, for uh, Cod's head for uh, t Tiddles. Mm. Mm. Don't like the idea of Cod's heads, do you? No, well, I don't really like fish, do yeah, they? I, so I, 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 I can't be bothered with fish. What do they like? Chicken? They no. Well, they have um, their own food, yeah. and there is fish in fishy ones in that. But and I like that, but they've never had real fish, really. The phone goes, is it, it's Mr. Humph Mr. Humphreys from next door. Mm -hmm. And basically, if he shows you his, can, hey. he, can he come and look at theirs? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Miss Brahms has to have a go on the bean bags, doesn't yes. she? And she shows her drawers off a few times. Yeah. And then, yeah, because she gets down onto it. And I can sort of remember this feeling. It wasn't as bad as that. But Nick used to have a bean bag. Right. And you'd start quite high up, and after a couple you'd, of minutes, you'd be slumped. You were right on the floor because it used to sink, and they were quite difficult to get out of. So, uh, Mr. Humphreys comes in with a baby in each hand. Mm -hmm. The kettle boils. <whistles> yeah, nobody's. Did, uh, did you ever have a kettle that did no. that? No. Or was it the sort of thing you only used to get on the telly? I, I'm sure, yeah. I think my gran had one. Mm. Because um, I remember seeing it on a stove before they got an electric one, but we always had an electric one. I wasn't allowed to touch it, not until I was much yeah. older. Mr. Humphreys is offered the bean bag, mm -hmm. but he says he prefers Tetley in his tea. Um, and like Mrs. Slocum's line, Mr. Humphreys, come and sit next to me and give me a baby. Yes. This is after he's plonked himself down so hard he makes both babies start crying, yeah. doesn't he? Oh, well, you better say how, how rubbish the babies oh, are. Oh, God, yeah. We don't really see them yet, but they're very obviously dolls. Yeah. And they're not the most expensive dolls <laughs> anybody's ever seen. I mean, when you consider now that... Um, I know you don't watch it, but in Call the Midwife, mm -hmm. that when they have a baby to do something with they don't want to use a real baby yeah. they've got a really realistic sort of looking Anim baby. animatronic job yeah, not even necessarily just like a gel baby thing because it's all yeah. <laughs> gel baby that sounds like call it, it oozes yeah. so yeah it's just like somebody's gone down to the nearest toy shop and bought the cheapest baby doll they can find so they start singing at Adam sweetest yeah. little fellow that everybody knows Um. And there's a, there's a load of banging from next door. Yeah. Um, and enter Captain Peacock. What's he sort of wearing? He's got a sort of like smoking jacket, I yeah. guess, isn't it? So, yeah. I wonder why he's got a he's got his posh clothes on. I mm. don't know. Um, there's some meowing for Mrs. Slocum's pussy because yes. he's got overexcited. Because the cod head. Yeah. And then some music can be mm. heard from next door. It's sort of 
poppy sort of yeah poppy kind poppy of music stuff we don't know about generic music. pop it's just referred to as a row isn't it yes um but yeah enter uh miss belfridge in what, what she's got, got sort of red sort of yes. is it a nighty it's thing like a sort of dressing gown kimono kind of thing a, com- I guess. a komodo kimono not That's a dragon, a dragon. dragon. kimono like a dr- sort of dressing gown and she's got a bottle of champagne in her hand mm. um but she um gets one of the babies and sits on the bed with it mm-hmm. um so now does Mr Humphreys join her at this point? I'm I'm starting to lose track of who's on the bed, but yeah. no, she sits on the bed on her own. And then Mr Rumbold comes, knocks on the door, and comes in. And well, says he's hang, glad hang to on, see the it. baby shuts up when she gets it. Yeah, you know uh, why, don't you? Why? Because it's looking at certain areas of her body, right. thinking, "Oh, I might get some food soon." <laughs> okay, right. Um, but yeah, that. Um, you really must write this better. I do. I'm doing. I'm doing it in the dark. But yeah. What do you mean you were doing it in the dark? <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it in the dark. Um, it was in dark. But Mr. Ha- yeah, Mr. Humphreys has ch- has come. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Humphreys has changed one baby. Yeah. With a tea towel. With a tea towel and some vim instead of a nappy. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> the napkin from the champagne bottle can be used for the other baby. Mm-hmm. Um, so enter Mr. Rumbold. Uh, Miss Brahm says it's like a home from home. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Mr Harmon then comes in. Why, Miss, what, I don't know what time this is supposed to be. Yeah. Why Mr Harmon's still hanging about? And also, what? why is it only this, the ladies and gentlemen's department have been offered these? Yeah, I know. Again, it's, the same. it's yeah. you know, what about uh, the other nobody departments? Nobody else in the store. But Mr Harmon says uh, Mrs Peacock is on the way up. In the lift, in the good lift. Yeah. Lift's good. In the lift's good, is it? <laughs> and also Mrs. Rumble. Yes. Have we ever seen Mrs. Rumble? No, Rumbold? this is the first time. Okay, all right. And they're basically everybody's concerned about being caught with Miss Belfridge. Mm-hmm. Um, so Mr. Rumble gets on the bed with her. Yeah. And then they vanish mm-hmm. up in the. Up now, in bearing in mind, she's holding one of the babies. Yeah, I was going to say the baby's going to go flying. Isn't it? <laughs> the baby's going to end up with his head down the mm-hmm. toilet or something, isn't it? So, we're left with Mr. Humphreys, Captain Peacock and a baby. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. Then the bed comes down again. Mm-hmm. And it's Mr. Rumbold, Miss Belfridge and the other, other baby. Upper baby. The upper baby. <laughs> then they go back up again. <laughs> Deary me. Uh, then there's a load of smoke that comes in from the kitchen. Yeah, because the pot's cool. Because the... <laughs> the cod's heads are on fire. Mm. I think it's just boiled dry, actually. And then the bed comes down again. Mm. And Mr. Humphrey, Mr. Humphreys goes off to see it, doesn't yes. it? I, uh, yeah. And then the bed comes down again. Yeah. And now it's Miss Belfridge and Mr. Humphreys who are facing the other baby. way. Yeah. And what's happened to Mr. Rumbold? Mm. He's, he's in the toilet or something, yeah, is he? Yeah, hiding. Because later on in the credits, mm. he's actually on the bed again, isn't yeah. he? And then ju- it just sort of stops, doesn't it? It does, it? yeah. And yeah. it's like it's over five minutes before they've thought of an ending. <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a bit of a weird one, to be honest, yes. isn't it? Yes, and again, we've had this story before, because you have Mrs Slocum using one of the floors when she gets squatters. Um... <laughs> Oh, Martha's here. Yes, hello, Mama. Martha's here. Hello, Mama. Martha. Oh. Ow! Quick, come and say hello then. Martha, come and be excited. Come and say hello to the viewers at Martha, home. Martha, would you like a cod's head? Right, here right. comes Mama. Martha, come round the back. Martha, Martha, oh, she's sticking her head in a bag. Martha, don't stick your head in the bag. Martha. <laughs> she wants to go for a ride. Yeah. But there, you, there we go. You can just about see her, I think. You can you? see her bottom and her yeah. tail. <laughs> that's a brilliant view isn't it yes but what do you think all, yes. all, all a bit sort of the bit with the, the the cat in the hat and the mouse was well that wasn't a real cat Martha don't lick stuff it's weird <laughs> God, she's loud <laughs> but yeah not, not, not the best not the best one no, no. But one more episode to go but not for the, the original worst. run yeah um, and, and then as we said we will do the pilot for the Possible we I think it, I think it was a good scrub. Scrub. Good see, scrub. That's see. what that's what the uh, yeah. the uh, oh hello Martha. 
I'll say something, I'll say something. Are you gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you got doing? your engine in the way. What's that? No. No! <laughs> All right, go on then. Bye. Good scrub it was. Scrub, right. Yeah. Well, I said clean, didn't I? I, so? could, I could do with a good scrub myself. Could you? Oh, nice. Shall I pull the cord and see if we go up? No. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye. Whoa!